Right, I've been asked to turn something with some very specific parameters. Uh, the design is up to me, it's just the, the parameters is what the client wants. Um, it's an award for the film industry. And I'm going to turn a prototype first, of course. Uh, and this is it. On the light, there is a piece of beach, a little over 12 inches long. Um, the award, I believe, is for new female directors in the indie in the indie industry. Right, so we'll get on with this, and uh, we'll talk through it as we're going. First, I'm going to do is round it off. Right, now square off the ends for measurement. Right. Now then, what I'm going to turn is the female form, but in a certain way. Right, now, you can eyeball this or you can go on what are the artistic versions of what a human form is, right, and the artistic version of what a human form is, the whole body is seven and a half times the height of the head. And it gets really complicated. And there's, a, there's a head from there to there. There's a head to the nipple line. There's a head from the nipple line to basically the belly button. Then there's another head to the hips. And it gets really complicated. Right? You can do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give myself a mark to the head. Uh, which I don't know what the, no, what the head is in. Right? I'm going to give myself a rough mark to the head. Right, and then I'm just going to eyeball the rest. Right, as I said, it's a prototype and I want to see what works best. Right, so there's the rough mark to the head. Right. Hold on. Right. Let's give myself a neck. Shoulders about there. Right. Down to the waist. Waist might be a little big. Down, 
don't know why he's pushing it with big. Head, neck, shoulders, curve to the waist, curve out to the hips, and I want long legs. So let's go there for the legs. Okay. Right, now let's see what we can come up with here. that reduced way down so there's my skew we're peeling cut the skew to get rid of some of that because I need it way down This is about the only thing I do with a skew because to be honest I'm terrible with it uh, if you want to know how to use the skew look up Wood Turner 21 his name is Steve Jones he is a master at it. the shoulders down as well. is still too big.
for an ovalish shape for head. Clean up the top of that. When I've done it, I just want to leave some support there. <coughs> yeah, then. Shoulders. find the neck as well later on because I want to leave some wood there as support right. for a 50 style so I want a thin waist round that a little bit yet again I'll refine that later now that that's gone, I can use a peeling cut again here. To bring the waist down, straight the tool list up again. Much better. there. So I want long legs on this. And what I want is a cove from there to there so that it's smooth. Yet again, I'll refine all this. I don't want to take too much off, uh, just in case it snaps. So this is just a prototype for the client to look at.
danger when you're doing these is you can make them look very dumpy if you make them too heavy. I'm very conscious of not making this looking look dumpy. Definitely gonna have to go thinner. Waist, you know, the right, where the hips, now the legs. And I need to take a break. Wait, let's go with the legs. Now, stop it, and then pass that so I'm closer, so I won't be touching that at the moment, that's the plinth, right, now what we want to do is bring, start bringing this Press the flare at the bottom. Uh, I know it's I think it's is it mermaid? Yep. Yeah. Right, now I want 
try and get a flare from there out. Smaller gauge again, have more control on it. Cut. See the tiny little shavings? Tiny cut. Right, I'll do that bit. Right, the plinth. I want a very, very slight chamfer in the plinth. Very slight. Finishing cut, tiny shavings again. Right now, just make sure that this is flat. Right, this is to take a plate, so we have to make sure it's perfectly flat. Go to skew again. I have the size I want. Make sure the plinth is perfectly flat. Yeah, perfect. I do. I do wish I was better with a skew, because the finish cut you get off it is beautiful. Right, that still might be a bit heavy for a plinth. I might take it down to about there. Right now, if you're doing something like this, always do the thinnest part last, because at least you have some support there. I mean, the waist is thin enough, the neck is not. The neck wasn't elegant enough at all. Right, so when you get that sanded and finished and then part it off, start that out. Oh no, I want to start that plinth out first, don't I? It's too high. The plinth is just a little too high. Yeah, that's better balanced. That's much better balanced. Yes, much better balanced. Honest. Right, as I said, we'll sand that and finish it. And I'll be back then. And, and there we go with the basics of it. It's going to buff it up now. found is if I buff in reverse there's no pressure at all on my hands so I can buff with the paper towel so that's one little problem solved but 
because I can just rest my hand on the top. A lot easier. And no pain, which is brilliant. Now I've seen these done multi-axis uh, but that wouldn't fall within the parameters I've been asked for so single axis is the way I'm doing them um, there's a few good videos on, on how to do them multi-axis As I said, no, the parameters have been given on to allow for multi axis. <coughs> now, undercut the bottom so it can sit pretty. And just very slightly undercut the bottom. I think where people make the mistake is at the bottom there they try and put it like a huge thing like that and it you don't need it you only need it very slight very very slight you just want it to sit on a rim right just give that a quick sanding now that everything's protected with wax I'm just giving it a quick sanding while it's on the lathe because when it comes off that nub is going to have to be taken off which means the whole base is going to have to be sanded again but you can give yourself a little bit of a head start if you just do some basic sanding while it's on the lathe and running it's a lot quicker now the heads all right there's a load of ways of taking a head off all right you can use the skew you can use a parting tool there's a load of ways of doing it uh, I'm going with a small gouge I'm just nibbling it away try and keep the curve top of the head is going to have to be hand sanded And we'll use a narrow part until we take that off. Uh, right. Now this is all going to be hidden under a hat. But that's still no reason to not do it properly. There you go, and she's off. Right. Now I'll hand sand that now. And finish it up there as well. And I'll take that off with a chisel and finish it on the bottom. Right, so I'll be back in a second. Right, so here's the body done. 
Right. Now we just gotta do the hat. Right. Okay, right, now we're gonna do the hat. Uh, on the lathe, another piece of beach. It's in bowl orientation this time. Let's just some light in the subject. Right. I don't know if that's whitening it out, and you only need to see here. Right now, first thing you're gonna do is hollow it. Right, uh, you basically do it the same as a bowl, but you're going shallow, and you have to match it to the head of your figure. Right, right. Uh, Widthwise, it's wider than you think it is. So, uh, watch that one, okay? And so, I'm just gonna start hollowing this out, and then I'm gonna test fit the figure's head a few times until I, I'm happy with it. Stop it there. Test fit. Not deep enough. Slightly more, I think. Not much, just slightly. You want to tilt it when you're testing this, don't test it straight, test it at a tilt. Touch very slight, touch wider, not a lot. Yeah, that's sitting better now. Now that's sitting like a hat. Okay. Right. Now that you've got that part, the rim is next. Now, as I said, the rim is bigger than you think it is. Don't leave yourself short on the width of the rim here. Now a parting tool, give myself a guide. Now the rim is going to be thinner than that. I'm just giving myself a guide and somewhere to start. Right, okay, right. Just taking away wood now. Give myself room to work. Have some more room. Right, 
pathways what you're trying to avoid is like a Quaker hat or something like that or in English a boater you're trying to avoid and you don't want it looking like Zorro either Okay, start trimming that down. Have room for work. You must have that room. I'm trying to get his like a fifties sun hat. Or as my wife says, the mother of the bride hat. the shape we're looking for roughly. Right. Now we'll now the next thing might seem weird but <coughs> you'll see where we're gonna do it. I wanna drill a small hole just on the top of the hat. Right. As I said, these things are for an award. And apparently they're going to be getting shipped worldwide. And I want to make sure the hats are solid and do not come off. A small hole to hold a dowel. It's not too bad of an idea. That'll do it. Just a small shawl hole so we can glue a dowel in. Right, now I'll sand that and put finish on it. And you want to be gentle when you're doing this because that's all that's holding it and you have a lot of torque pushing on the outside of this so you don't want to snap this off. You can do it if you snap it off. It's just easier if you don't. And why make things more difficult than yourself? It's clean. Some Hampshire sheen. Quite less. If you finish one piece of something one way, finish all of it that way, including the base. Pet hate of mine. People will spend ages getting their finish just right in the piece. And then they get to the base and they just go, I sure will just do this. Finish the whole piece the same way. The only person you're filming is yourself if you don't. Spread and let it go off. Should we go 
one halfway now. Woof. Trying to keep the core of the hat going. Flip this around and we'll sand that part. Sand it that part. Alright, but before you do, see this, you still need the dowel for the inside. You have that on, so you might as well use it. Start to peel it down, just peel the front of it down. So you're round about where you think you need to be. And then you hold, you just drill into the hat. Check it. And that is pretty darn close. Tiny, tiny bit. There we go. You can see it's biting. Okay. Now just turn the rest of the dial down to that. You don't want much of a grip on this half at all because you don't want to damage it. You've done the rim, all you want to do is sand the top. So, as you can tell, fold in quarters, that, put it in, and Hopefully, if it's a chuck, it would make it very easy if it did. And then there's a light grip on it. That is well solid enough. Now, tear off the pieces that are going to be flying around in your way. Gently does it. Corv in. Right. There we go. It's the hat done. 
Now we just need to put it together. Where did I put that? That's not it. There. Take the hat out of the jaws. Which come here. Right, here's the hat. Kill the light because I'm not going to need it. Right. Check for fit. Yes, fit is very good. Now we just want to drill the hole. And there we have our Venus. As you know, there's the hat. Right. Angle is good. Right. Uh, as you know, the lighting in here is not great for photos. So I'll take a couple of stills and put them up at the end. Yeah, hopefully that's roughly what the client is looking for. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you in the next one.